Hello everyone, uh, long time no see. Uh, so it's uh, it's been crazy for UXIN in the past uh, several months. Um, <laughs> um, so today I um, read an article on, on Yahoo Finance, uh, which is the the latest article, and I don't know who wrote that. And it's uh, from uh, I believe a simply called Simply Wall Street. And in that article, um, uh, they are talking about the revenue was shrinking in the past three years for UXIN, for Yuxin. And uh, the revenue haven't been increased. Um, so they don't, um, they were saying UXIN, Yuxin didn't have any, um, in, uh, didn't have uh, their revenue increased for several years. Um, so today I would like to uh, share my ideas about these two points in this article, which I don't fully agree with. Uh, so first, the um, the revenue increase. Um, a, um, apparently, the the author of the that article didn't know know well about uh, Yuxin, and uh, if you look at their uh, their earning report um, ending June 2021 or uh, September 2021, you realized um, the revenue has been increased substantially. So, uh, for example, um, uh, for from uh, the ER ending September 2021, and you see their total revenue was about 623 um, uh, hundred. Um, uh, six, I mean, uh, six twenty-three million uh, RMB, and uh, compared with uh, only one hundred million RMB uh, a year ago, so that's about like three hundred fifty fifty percent jump uh, in terms of revenue increase, um, and that's a quite a lot increase, right? Quite a lot of jump. So um, I don't understand why that article didn't point out um, the big jump of uh, um, their total revenue uh, in past two years. And um, it could be the article was uh, wrote by a robot or um, they didn't point out the Yuxing was uh, uh, shifting their business to selling used cars directly to their customer, right? So, right, okay, so let's move to this, uh, the second point. And the, um, they are shrinking revenue, shrinking business. And, uh, and that's why I said the author, um, the writer didn't know much about this company. And back in 2018, when Yu Xin came to US for IPO, um, their business, business mainly uh, includes three parts, right? Uh, used cars, um, auction, and finance. And though the three are huge, um, huge business for the company, and that's, but two years later in 2020, um, Yuxin sold their auction and finance business, which which um, could help uh, UXIN uh, mainly focused on selling used cars directly to their customer, and that's why their um, their total revenue um, was cut off like two thirds, and uh, and that's why their uh, business um, like in, was shrinking in terms of revenue, right? And um, the article didn't mention that either, so uh, I just wanna wanna. Uh, point out um, re reminds you guys that the 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 business of the Yuxin um, was moving to um, mainly folks down selling cars, and that's why it's getting um, getting smaller compared to um, a company with the uh, auction and uh, um, and finance combined, and also their um, revenue hasn't been um, in increased that much, like 300% in in a year. And oh, oh, by the way, their 
uh, in the article, they also also said um, there's no haven't make any money. Um, it's not true either. And if you check out their um, earning report, you will realize their their uh, their total uh, their gross profit has been turned to positive, and they, they, which means that they are making money, right? And um, of course, you, you see if you want to talk about net profit, and um, um, it's I mean it's the company is still it's uh, still negative for the company, but uh, but uh, um, given the um, the uh, incoming funds from uh, Singapore GIC, and you could you could tell um, the institution was still have a. Uh, good plan for the company um and uh the nightmare over here is mainly come from the um the fear of uh, china's crackdown but um um i just want to point out uh the company itself it's okay it's uh, well doing and um we should uh keep looking um for the the good performance in the future of the UXIN, right? Um, all right, uh, I think that's it for today. Um, have a good night. Bye.